Shalom, Watts, California. We come to represent the 12 tribes of Israel, who you are, most of you, of Negro, Indian, Latino descent, right here in Watts, California. We come forth to bring the truth, which is the laws of the Most High, and the faith of the Mashiach Yahweh Shai, who the world falsely knows as Jesus Christ, because that's not his name, because the J was invented in 1630 AD. That's when they started using it. So when you see most Bibles, you'll see the revived version of the Bible, which will have Jesus in it, but that's not his original name. He spoke Hebrew when he walked the earth. And when he came back and met Saul on the road to Damascus, he spoke in the Hebrew tongue, like we speak in Hebrew. That's why we know his Hebrew name as Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, the anointed Savior, the anointed Messiah. There's only one. And he's coming back to redeem one third of the 12 tribes of Israel that have put their trust in the Most High by coming back and following his laws, statutes, commandments, and not dis being disobedient to his ways, which is his laws, statutes, commandments. Before it's too late. He's our only hope, people. That's why we care as the, in these last days as the prophets of the Most High to warn you to come back to him before it's too late. Because a lot of you don't know him as he is, written in this Bible. Most people say, well, show me him in the Bible. Most people can't do that. And most people not even bring about, bringing out the scriptures concerning him. This is sad. But we're going to look at salvation for our people of Negro, Indian, Latino descent, the 12 tribes of Israel that are scattered mainly from North, Central, and South America and the Caribbean islands, but all over the world, among all nations. You see, that's who we are. The children of Israel not knowing who we are because we've been destroyed for a lack of knowledge. They took our knowledge away from us and who we are as the chosen people of the Most High. And now we look at other people, they got us so brain polluted that we look at other people and try and bring them into the chief fold. And they don't even want to come in themselves. They want to be amongst you. Only way they want to be amongst you is if you got some money. You ain't got no money, they want to be amongst you. Which one of you ain't got nothing that you see all these other nations coming running to you? They ain't running to you about for nothing. And they all these other nations outside of the, the so-called Caucasian race, they follow who's ever been in power. As the nation came in power, they was right under them following their ways, their traditions, everything. They loved it. They loved it so. Well, let's read Colossians 3 and 17. Colossians chapter 3, verse 17. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all Bahashem Amashiach Yahweh Giving thanks to the Most High, Bahashem Amashiach Yahweh Shad. So all we do and say is going to be in the name of the Lord and Savior. We get the power from the Most High. We already prayed for the Most High to send His holy angels to surround us, which are here on the earth. We ask the Most High to send His Holy Spirit to us to bring forth the edification of our people. And we rebuke Satan. Rebuke all evil spirits and heal all evil people. In the name of the Lord and Savior. Baha Shalom Mashiach Jehovah Shai. So here we are now right here and watch to edify you, our people. We come forth to edify our people. You are our people. You the most highest chosen people. He loved you. Give me uh, Romans 9 and 13. Let me show you that the most high love us. And nobody can go in the Bible and show me where he loved any other nation beside us. We are the chosen people of the Most High. We are the ones that He loved. And He said He don't know no one else. But see, we don't know that because we've been taught lies. We destroy for lack of knowledge as a people. Read. Romans chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. He said, Jacob have I loved. He said He loved it. Jacob is the forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel. This is who He is. The forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel. Who we are. Right here. You see that? That's who we are. The 12 tribes of Israel, man. You're one of them. If you want to be, if not, then you're not the chosen. This is the chosen people of the Most High. This is who the Bible is talking about right here. That's right. This is them right here, man. We are. Of Negro, Indian, Latino descent. We don't know it because we don't know our heritage. You don't know where you started from. We started from two men and five women. That's right. our, our forefather Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel, had four women. They were Syrians. Look just like a so-called Mexican. So you wonder how we look, the way we look. Oh yeah, you better do your research. You look like, just like you, you look like your, like your father's side of the family or your mama's side of the family. Grandfather, you know, great-grandfather, great-grandmother, somebody, right? In your family that you're looking like, they say, oh, you look just like your great-uncle. 
You ain't never seen them before. Your great great uncle. Somebody that's older, you say, hey, you look just like them, but they don't look like your mama and daddy. You see? So that's how we come from. We come from Jacob, who had four wives, and Joseph, who created and uh, Ephraim and Manasseh came through in Africa when, it was, when his wicked brother sold him to the Arabs and they sold him to the Egyptians. <laughs> and he had a wife in Egypt. And that's how we became the 12 tribes of Israel, still coming from the bloodline of who? Our forefather, Israel. That's why we the Israelites. That's right. So the Most High said he loved us but he don't love, he don't love these other nations. And we come forth to have you to think about yourself and no one else. Because you can't take nobody, get a uh, second Corinthians 5 and 10. Check this out. See if you're gonna be able to take the ones that you can so concerned about in front of a Mashiach that was shot, who the world calls Jesus Christ. When he is ready to judge. This is what it says, read. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Amashiach, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he has done, whether it be good or bad. You know that? That's individually. You want to be an individualist? individualist? That's when you're going to be an individualist. <laughs> right there. When you appear before the judgment seat of a Mashiach Yahweh Shai, give me John 5, 22. When you receive the judgment of a Mashiach Yahweh Shai for what you have done, whether it was bad or good. So you'll be judged, all of us, individually. Then you're going to be an individualite. Standing right there in front of the judgment seat of a Mashiach Yahweh Shai, you're going to be judged for whatever you have done that's good or bad. So let's look at this good. Give me uh, Romans. 7 and 12, first and foremost. So we all going to meet the judgment seat of a Mashiach Yavashai, who the world falsely called Jesus Christ. Individually, you're going to stand there one at a time and be judged whether you have done bad or good. So what's good? Let's find out what the good is. Read. Romans chapter 7, verse 12. Wherefore the law is holy, and the commandment holy, and just, and good. <laughs> so the commandment of the Most High is good. That's why I went there. Because the commandment of the Most High is good. So those that follow the commandments of the Most High going to be told to come on into everlasting life. But all you that's taught, you're not under the law, you ain't got to follow the Most High, you don't care about Him. Because they're, they're His laws. They're His laws. Just like you follow the laws of the land. That's why you stop at the stoplight, you wait until that light turns, then you cross the street. That's something simple right here that you're doing. Following the law of the land. But you can't follow the law of the Most High and the Mashiach Yahweh Shai. And you say you love him? Give me to say John 14 and 15. You can't say you love him and don't do what he say do. Read that. St. John 14 and 15. St. John chapter 14, verse 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. That's simple. He said, if you love him, keep his commandments which is the laws. First John 5 and 3. We gotta establish this because we can't go into salvation unless you understand that you have to follow who we call Yahweh, the most high, power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's right. Those are his laws that we gotta follow and come back to. If you wanna see everlasting life, you wanna see the salvation of Israel, Be. 1 John chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of the Most High, that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not grievous. Right, so you will be judged for what you have done, good or bad, right? So the good is the keeping of the commandments of the Most High. Bad is not following the commandments of the Most High. You can't do whatever you want to do. And don't cry to him, all right, brother. Shalom. You can't cry to him and do whatever all the bad happens that you want him to, to look after you. And you've been bad as ever, wicked as ever, not follow what he say do. And you think he gonna bless you? No, man. You get blessed from the devil. That's and when the right. devil, when the devil say, I'm through with you, what he do? Take your life, man. That's he send right. that death angel on you. And it's coming from the most high, left hand side. That's why I say most people don't know the most high. They don't know the Father, Heavenly Father. 
He's worthy to be praised for everything. Everything, man. Whether it's good or bad, whether it's righteous or evil, he's still going to be praised for everything. Because he's a man of war. And war, what do you do? You have strategies of how you're going to get somebody. How you're going to bless them and get them, or how you're going to curse them. How you're going to tear their butt up. And I mean, you got to be tired of being in the ghettos and slums, the last hire, the first fire. Drugs all in your neighborhoods, drive-by shootings. You can't even go out, walk around this corner unless you got to be looking out to see what's going on. Shots going on, going on all in the air at night and so forth. Little babies getting killed. I mean, don't talk about the abortion clinics, man. That's like shoot. Straight up suicide. Straight up just tearing our people apart, man. 50 million of us? That's terrible. But that's how we care about ourselves, man. When it, back in the day, we cared about it. So there were no abortions. That's right. We had no abortions and all that stuff, man. We made sure that we took care of our children. One way or another. Families of 14 up to 20 that's right. in one family. And living in a one room. <laughs> living in a cabin or something like that. A little shack, man. Come on. And making it. So don't tell me we can't do it. We done did it already. That's right. Here we are now, man, looking at the modern day world and thinking that you're going to make it to the kingdom and following the way this system is, man. You're not, man. That's why we're here to warn you before it's too late. Before it's too late. There's going to come a time, man, them trains going to be coming down the tracks, man. They ride and watch them. Everywhere I went trying to get over here, what was, what, what I have to run into? In, dead end. What was there? Railroad tracks. You see what I'm saying? They're mostly every city. As I travel, man, you know where them railroad tracks are? Right there in the ghetto. Every city. Leading right to us, man, because they got a diabolical plan. When they come down through the, through the hoods of these, of these different cities, man, what you think they're going to do? They're going to be rounding you up, man. If you ain't ready, you ain't got no, no, no spiritual connection with the Most High. That's right. he, he got his angels right here on the earth, man, ready to defend those that are of his sheep coming back into the sheepfold so we're here to warn you real men are standing up for righteousness that's right against the enemies and workers of iniquity people do all this talking but y'all against each other but you better be knowing who your enemy is who your real enemy is